How's it guys? Uh, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. You normally see me talking about the species and everything. Today we're going to talk about a facet of angling we don't do a lot of focus on but it's really sort of gaining a lot of uh, momentum at the moment and that's ultralight estuary angling. Now basically ultralight meaning something very very small. Uh, there's no sort of set definitive line less than this much, more than that much in terms of grams. But the lighter you can go, the more fun you have. Uh, in terms of outfits, we'll discuss that maybe in a later video, but wanting really like a six foot, seven foot rod, maybe even less down to five foot six. And then you're looking really ultra light braid. So anything less than 10 pound, but in my, what I like to use is something about six pound thereabouts. Um, little coffee grinders, just because you can't throw the braid nicely off of a multiplier of that small size, normally would be a bass reel of anything. Um, we've got some very exciting new rods in that range uh, and we've also got some very exciting new lures. So today what we're going to be talking about is the lures themselves and uh, we're just going to go through how to use them, what species maybe you're going to be looking at targeting with them. So let's get into it. Okay, the first thing we're going to be talking about is the arc minnow. Now the arc minnow is the bigger boy, the little guy's called the dwarf minnow, it comes in a whole range of sizes but basically what we're looking at is, it's a little jerk bait. Now, jerk baits inherently don't have a lot of action themselves. You, in other words, you don't throw them and just reel them in, because he's got a little bit of a wiggle to him, but it's not the best action you're gonna get out of him. Now, the best way to use these, you're gonna throw, you're gonna let it sit, you're gonna reel a little bit, and you're gonna jerk it. You let it sit, jerk it, let it sit. There's no set movement into how many jerks, whether you do two jerks, one pause, but the key thing is to jerk it and stop. But you jerk your rod and pull it back like that, so it gives a little bit of slack. And that shoots it forward, and then it sits and floats up slowly like that. And often in that pause, you actually get the bite. Now, my favorite colors for these are these two guys here. You got the little, it's like a UV white uh, with the little purple on the, the throat like that, and then the little dots. That's the biggest size I'd go. That's even a little bit big for ultralight. But that's the big boy, he's uh, the 75. And then the little Dwarf Mino 53, and that's my favorite color there. He looks just like a mullet, and a lot of more natural colored fish. He's got the little yellow UV spot on there, got nice bright eyes, clearish color to him. He's just deadly, deadly. Number one. And then, this is the pure attractor color that Strike Bros brought out. He's yellow on the top, chartreuse on the top, silver sides, and then the orange belly. If you shine a UV light on this, both the top and the bottom glow like mad. Um, and it's just, it gets that aggression going, it works for bass, it works for anything in the estuary, it even works in the surf for stuff like shad. Um, so we'll first go through all the lures, then we'll go through the species themselves. That's the next little guy. Then moving down from that, if you want to go further down the water column, this guy's called the small fryer. You see it's in the same color that we just spoke about. He's got a big lip on him. So now he's not designed as a jerkbait, but you can fish it as a jerkbait. He's designed with a deeper lip, it's going to dive a bit deeper, and also a very big point, suspending. Basically what suspending means is that you pull it down to a level, it's not going to float up like the arc minnow, you're going to pull him down, and he's going to sit at that level, he's neutrally dense. So you jerk, jerk, or you reel and you stop, and he's going to sit right there. And that's very, very similar to glasses and things, because they don't shoot around all the time, they move, and then they stop dead, and they just sit in the water like that, dead still. That's a very, very deadly lure for that. And he's got a very nice profile to him, nice lip. He's in a dive as deep as you can get him. He's, you know, in the estuaries, you're never really looking at getting deep, deep, but he'll go down to maybe a meter, meter and a half if you need him to, especially on the light line. Other lures of interest, the little sprat sticks. I'm really not gonna cover these because if you watch some of the older videos, Dean fishing down in Tamvuma, you'll see plenty of action with those, how they work, everything. It's a slower uh, sinking, sinking sinking minnow and you're just, just going to work it nice and slowly twitch it like that walks around like that but under the water so it's like a stick bait in essence those those two guys the best colors like you see we keep it very natural with these uh, they're not strong attractors the jerk baits and the stuff that you're going to rip you really want a nice strong bright color these guys you want to keep very natural it's a nice small natural looking uh, minnow then from there if you ever want to work on the surface the hot dog. Caught a hot dog because he looks like a hot dog. That's the, the probably the nicest color out of all of them. He's a walk the dog kind of style bait. 
you can see he shaped his curve slightly up, mouth slightly cupped, so he's going to push a bit of water. The very important thing on these, you have to tie a loop knot. Loop knot or you use one of the little clips that's got a very round uh, clip to it because you need to get free motion to. These are going to sit on top of the water like that, just with the back end, and when you jerk him, you've got a jerk slack line, jerk slack line, very similar to a jerk bait. And he's going to walk like that. And you can see the rattles in him. As he goes along, he clicks like that. And you jerk him. Remember with top waters, you work them slow and you work them fast. If there's a lot of action happening, start off working very quickly, jerking him very quickly, reeling fast, and you'll skip across the surface. If there's nothing happening, or if you're fishing late at night, you want to work it very, very slow. So you just jerk, jerk, and don't, don't be afraid to pause it for a minute or more at a time. And he'll just sit there, form a silhouette. Often the fish will come up and sit and wait underneath him, and as soon as you move him again, you get a big explosion. That's the hot dog. That's my choice of ultralight surface lure. And then, we're moving on to something extremely exciting. Brand new lure, we just brought it out. It's called the chipper. Now, the chipper, it's the, the 45 size, comes in three colors that we've brought in. We've got the, the more natural colors, the natural guy over there. Then we brought him in in a very sexy little gold and orange belly with the black top. And then we've got a combination of the two which is the dark top, orange belly, silver sides, little gold on top. Now he's probably my absolute favorite color. He is very similar to the hot dog in action. It's also gonna sit on the surface. He clicks as you go side to side like that, you can, but you work him a lot quicker than a hot dog. He's not a very slow moving bait. He's got a big flat side, little round belly on the top, so he falls over as you jerk him like that. Very, very deadly style, and also got a lot of flash in him, so for the little kingies in the harbour, you cannot beat that lure. Uh, I've been using it now for the past little while and the kingies absolutely love it. The big, the key thing about him, you'll be able to see in this guy here, see through belly, he's got two little metal ball bearings in him and then one ceramic bearing. That ceramic gives a completely different sound to having just the metal in there. It actually gives a, a bit of a more plasticky type sound to it. So as you're moving him around, it's, it's just a slightly different click that the fish might not have heard before and that's something that I think is working very well for them, maybe proving why they, they work so well. So that's the new little guy. He is available, as I said, in only the one size, but in the three colors. And I think it's gonna be a very, very deadly sell, especially for the little ultralight guys. And fishing on the surface with the ultralights and any sort of the lure angling, it's, just, it's a lot better because you see everything happen. You see the action, you see the fish chase behind it. And it's just, it, it gets your, your adrenaline pumping very quickly. So, yeah, very, very excited about this guy, I'm sure you guys can tell. And uh, yeah, pop into our shops and come and have a look at him. Now, in terms of the species you're going to be targeting, um, we've gone through a lot of them already, but you're really looking at your little kingies, your springer, your oxide tarpon, your perch, your rock salmon, and all of those will smash any of these lures. Um, they are particular to the jerk baits and the topwater lures but most of these can be fished in that manner. Uh, what I would really advise doing is changing to little inline singles. On some of the smaller lures, you can't do it because the, the smaller size we go is the size eight, so the hooks start catching on each other. But on most of them, especially the jerk baits, the back hook at least you can change to this. It's just the hook that you most likely get them in the mouth. And then you don't have all the trebles hooking them up everywhere. So, Big advice, I'd say definitely change to the little kaijus. Uh, inline singles, they sit nicely with the lure, don't affect the action. Um, and yeah, definitely a, a good choice to go for. So there you have it guys, that's my, my choice of the Strike Pros. Uh, ultralight angling, extremely fun to do. Um, if you haven't done it before, or if you're wanting to try it, pop into the shop, uh, come talk to myself or one of the other guys and we can run you through a little basic setup and what to get. It's really not expensive, you can set yourself up quite cheaply and it's a hell of a lot of fun to do and available to pretty much anyone. There we go guys, cheers, bye.